Hey there, it's Kyle with Dirtbike Channel. Just wanted to share with you a few of my thoughts about brand loyalty. In my time here in the industry, I've noticed that there are certain people that are brand loyal almost to a fault. I mean, I'm talking about a guy who might have had, might have purchased a, a Honda CRF 450 in 2008, and he just thought it was the best bike ever, and he has continued to buy only that bike, only that Honda bike, uh, for the last you know 10 years, and maybe he's bought two or three of them every you know he's every two or three years he'll buy a new one, and he would think. You know, and, and as, as his riding evolves, he doesn't even change his mind. He, he just stays with that Honda. And I'm not saying the Honda isn't a bad bike, but if, the, if, if you're so brand loyal that you're not, you're not willing to go out and look out at other things in the market, you're going to actually be selling yourself short because um, there, there are better things out there. Now, a lot of you guys say, oh, you're just, Kyle's just a KTM fanboy. I'm. I, I like some of the products that they put out. I don't like all the products that they put out, but they put out a lot of cool products. And if you, if you compare the Honda lineup for the last several years to the KTM lineup for the type of riding that I wanna do, then yeah, KTM's got all these other bikes, so that's why I've had so many of those. But one of the things that I've been learning here in the last four or five years is that there's a lot of really good bikes out there. And if, if all you've ever ridden is one bike, say it's a Yamaha or a Honda or a Suzuki or even just or even a KTM, if it's the only thing you've ridden, how do you know that that's the best bike out there? I've had 18 different bikes in the last four years that I've been riding and reviewing for this channel. And one of the things that it's taught me is there's a lot of good stuff out there. And for you to just say, hey, this bike is the best thing ever, when you have only experienced that bike, then that rings kind of hollow. Um, the, the interesting thing is, even with like some of the bikes that I did earlier this year, like the Shurkos, no one had ever heard of the Shurkos. Those were really good bikes, really good bikes. You know, they had some quirky things here or there, but doesn't everyone have a quirky thing here or there? And the Beta, man, that thing was a solid package. It wasn't, it wasn't my favorite bike, but it was really good at certain things. They had some, they did some really good stuff on that thing. Hopefully in 2018, I hope to do a Honda. I, I, I've been waiting for Honda to put out a, the CRF 250RX, but they haven't. They've got the CRF 450RX. That's more of the off-road version of, the, of their uh, motocross bike. And I hope to get one of those, get my hands on one of those and, and just kind of experience that. I've also got like an older Honda that I'm gonna try to, that I'm gonna try to refurbish. And, uh, and do kind of a, do some videos on that. And the point is, you know, I've had, I've had Yamaha, I've had uh, Honda in the past here, I've had KTM, um, Beta, uh, the, the Shurkos, all these different bikes. And I'm learning that, man, if you're just brand loyal and, and you don't, you're not willing to look outside of what you already know, you, you're, you're not gonna have a very, you know, realistic view of what's out there. Here's another secret for you. All of the dirt bike manufacturers right now, they make a good bike. Now, it may not be the best fit for you, but but like Suzuki makes a pretty good motocrosser. So does Honda, so does Yamaha, so does, so does KTM, all of these manufacturers. They all make a pretty good motocross bike. Not all of them make a real great, you know, off-road racing, enduro style bike some of them make some good trail bikes like the like the yamaha wr 250 and the wr 450 those are great trail bikes they're not racing bikes but they're great trail bikes i mean i know some people have raced them you can do different things to kind of kind of make them more racy and they can go race those bikes those are good bikes hondas the crf 250x great trail bike crf 450x good trail bikes is really heavy but everyone makes a good bike in, in certain genres. Um, and if you're if you're too brand loyal to look past like, oh, it has to be a Honda or oh, it has to be a Kawasaki, you might be missing out on something really good. I mean, I, I go back to my buddy Scott, who's had basically every dirt bike out there, but the one dirt bike he didn't have in the last 15 years was a Yamaha. He'd had pretty much everything else. He'd had a Yamaha, he'd had, he'd had the, the Honda, the Suzuki, KTM, you know, multiple Kawasaki's, He'd never done a Yamaha. And then he goes and he rides, he rides a couple buddies, including one of mine, the, the Yamaha YZ250X, and he's like, man, that, there's something about that thing. 
couldn't get it out of his head and he bought the Yamaha from me, the, the YZ250X. And he is on record saying that that is the best and it, the best dirt bike that he's had. He, You're gonna go on record to say you, this is, this is your favorite bike so far? Absolutely, to date my favorite, favorite bike. So he, he has enjoyed that dirt bike better than any other dirt bike that he's ever had. And the only reason that he was open to the idea is because he wasn't so brand loyal to be like, oh, I'm not gonna ride a blue bike. I don't wanna, and you know, obviously he changed the plastic and made it his own thing, he made it in, into a white bike. He was open to trying something is what I'm trying to say. And that's what I think a lot of people need to do is just be open to the possibility. What is a good bike now? A good manufacturer on a good roll right now with a certain model? That may not be forever. I mean, 10 years ago, what, 15 years ago, the KTMs were, they were kind of crap. But now, they're really good. And if you think that a KTM is a piece of trash, at least these bigger bikes that I've been riding, uh, you haven't spent a ton of time around them. They're just as good as any other bike and better in many ways. And they offer, they offer more choices in the type of genre that I wanna do. 300XC, 250XC, 300XCW, 250XCW, all these different all these different bikes 250xcf 350xcf 450xcf all of these models mean that there's something really good in that lineup same thing with Husqvarna there's a bunch of there's a bunch of bikes in the Husqvarna lineup and and it allows me to pick a bike that I that is going to fit me really well and that's why I've primarily done those bikes they've been the most well-rounded but I'm open to say, hey, let's look at a gas gas. I've got limited, I've got limited amount of funds, but let's look at a gas gas and a beta and a Honda and, and Yamaha and all these other things. And so I have to say, okay, I've got a limited amount of funds. I've got to try to review some of these other bikes. And man, I have learned, I've learned a ton. You, you live, it's one thing to go out and ride your buddy's bike for 20 minutes. It's an entirely different thing to own that bike for, for three or four months or five or six months or a year or two years. You learn so much more by living with that bike and owning that bike, and that's what I've done. I've been able to kind of open my eyes to the possibilities of all these brands, and I'm not brand loyal. I just want to ride the best bike for me that's, that's most suited for my needs, the best fit, and, and that's the one that I want to ride, and that's going to be different for everyone. For many of you, that's going to be a Honda. For many, that's going to be a Yamaha. For some of you, it's going to be a KTM or a Husqvarna or a Beta or a Gas Gas or a Sherco. And my, my sentiment to you is don't be so close-minded that you're not open to looking at other things. End of rant.